Okay, this is AS Further Maz, and we are looking at Unit 2, which is our matrices. Um, and we're looking at an example 8 and example 9 here in the notes. So find the matrix which transforms the point 1, 2 to 3, 3, and the same matrix that transforms minus 1, 1 to minus 3, 3. Uh, there's two different ways of doing this, so I'm going to do both of them. The first one I've almost already done. I wonder if I can really hide a little bit from you there. So you can't see. We cover it up then like this. So here's the idea. There's some matrix that we're looking for. And if you put the point 1, 2 into it, you get out 3, 3. And if you put in minus 1, 1 into it, we get minus 3, 3. So this matrix we have called X. We've called this one A and this one B. How could I work out this X? How could I get it on its own? Well, I could find the inverse of this matrix here. And if I find the inverse of this matrix and multiply both sides by this, then that gets the x on its own. So what we're left over here on the right-hand side then should give us the x. Um, so find the matrix then, the inverse of A. So find the determinant. 1 times 1 gives me 1 minus minus 2. So that's going to be 3. So the determinant the inverse is obviously 1 over 3. Change these two round. And change the signs in of these two. Now I need to be very careful about which way I'm multiplying this through because if I stick the A to the one out the front, that's going to mess this bit up. Um, it's not necessarily the same thing. So I'm going to multiply on this side here. So I'm going to put the A to the minus one here and the A to the minus one here. So if I kind of set it up like that. Now I can bring my third out to the front. So this then should give me the X on its own. And then I've gone a third, three minus three, three, three. 1, 1, minus 2, 1. So let's just run through this to make sure we get the right thing. 3. <laughs> Sorry, I made a mistake here. This third shouldn't be in there anymore. It should have worked out. So let's just check this. All checks out. 3 plus 6 is 9. And a third of that then is going to be 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. So that gives me 0. Um, for this one here. 3 minus 6, that gives me minus 3, divided by the 3 is minus 1. And then for this last one, this row times this column is 3, plus 3 is 6, divided by that. And we have that. So the matrix, that is going to change 1, 2 to 3, 3, and the same minus 1, 1 to minus 3, 3, is this matrix here. Sometimes worth a week check, maybe put the point 1, 2 in there and make sure you do get out 3, 3, put the point minus 1, 1, and make sure you get there minus 3, 3 as well. And the other method is to try and use some sort of form of simultaneous equations. We have some matrix A, B, C, D that changes the point 1, 3, 1, 2 into the point 3, 3. And the same matrix A, B, C, D changes the point minus 1, 1 into the point minus 3, 3. Um, so multiplying this out, you will have A plus 2B equals 3. And then we have C plus 2D equals 3. Over here we have minus A plus B is minus 3. And multiplying this out, minus C plus D is 3. If I call this equation 1 and equation 2, and if I add these two equations, A and minus A, they cancel out, and then 3B equals 0. So 1 plus 2 is going to give me 3B equals 0, which obviously gives me that b is 0. If b is 0 and you put it into this one or this one, you of course then get a equals 3. So there's the a and the b worked out. Adding 3 and 4 and calling this one equation 3 and this one equation 4. Adding these in, I'm going to get 3d equals 6. And obviously gives me D is 2. If D is 2, then C is going to be minus 1. So we had our original equation. Sorry, our original matrix A, B, C, D. So A is 3. B is 0. 
C is minus 1 and T is 2. So the matrix requires that. And the good news is it's the same as the one over here. So it looks like it's worked. Um, next week concept then, um, I'm sure this is fairly intuitive. If M is a matrix which represents a transformation in the plane and the determinant's not equal to zero, then M to the minus one, the inverse represents the inverse transformation. E.g. 0 minus 1, 1, 0 is a rotation of 90 degrees about 0. Then the inverse of this is a rotation in back the other way. So the matrix M is 1, 3, 0, 1 represents a shear of the XY plane. Find the matrix M to the minus 1. So this is going to move you know, any point back from the shear. Um, so M to the minus 1. 1 times 1, 3 times 0, so my determinant is just 1, change these two around, and change the sign of these two, so that's in my inverse matrix. So if you take any point and sub it into this, it gives you a new point, and if you take your new point and sub it into this, not substitute it in, but send it through this matrix here, it then should give you the old point. Hence, find the point P, which is mapped to the point Q under the shear represented by M. So they've given us a guess that the answer, almost, and we need to work out then what the question was. So we're going to send the point 4 minus 2 through this inverse matrix to work it out. So how do I find the point P? That's going to be equal to M to the minus 1 times the point Q. So 1 minus 3, 0, 1. I'll point the point 4 minus 2. I'll send that through. That gives me 4 plus 6, which is 10. And then minus 2. Um, we could do a wee check here. Why not? So it could be checked that whenever we send it originally through, you can see us again at the bottom. 1, 3, 0, 1, 10, minus 2. 10, take away 6. Gives me 4, 0, minus 2, and of course, then the original matrix pen through the point 10 minus 2. So it looks like then it's going to work.